grew up in my family's custom cabinetry business, so I quite literally grew up building uh, cabinetry and furniture. I have the diverse interests of art and design as well as mechanical things. So when I went to Purdue, I was sort of undecided as to what I wanted to do with myself. I ended up landing on mechanical engineering because it, it spoke to the mechanical sides of my interests, but also it was just a really excellent foundation for whatever I wanted to do in the future. Mechanical engineering at Purdue, it's, um, it's a little bit of a trial by fire. Knowing that I made it through the program <laughs> and did a good job, it really gives me a lot of confidence now to tackle other problems as well. So while I was looking around, I kept building furniture. My love of design was melding with my interest in mechanical things, and so building furniture is a really good way to do that, right? Because you've got the aesthetic design of the furniture, but then you have the mechanical component of actually having to build it. And so finally I gave up and just did what I was naturally doing anyway, and I started building furniture. Dust furniture was my wife's clever idea. She thought if we stamped dust furniture on the pieces of furniture, it'd be a clever little tongue-in-cheek way to remind people to keep their furniture tidy. She didn't appreciate just how much dust was actually created when you make furniture. When you sit down with a blank piece of paper for the first time, it's actually really intimidating because you don't have someone telling you what to do. You have to decide on your own. My exposure to furniture design was straight square lines. People didn't purposely say, I want these lines to be straight. They're straight because some guy happened to have a table saw and it just happened to cut straight lines. So when I first started off, I wanted to preserve the soul of furniture. I wanted it to look like furniture, but abstracted. It's furniture, but it's, it's curvy. So I do get a lot of Alice in Wonderland comments just because it's so alive and vibrant and otherworldly. What I like to hear are things like, oh, that reminds me of Salvador Dali, or oh, that reminds me of Frank Gehry. It makes me really proud. When we first started, it was literally just me building pieces of furniture. Uh, but then as we got bigger, my wife started working with me and she helped me build pieces of furniture. So when we had more orders than people, well, I guess we better find a shop. So we find a shop um, and we hire some help and we start building more furniture. And it, it's just sort of this uh, incremental step-by-step -step path that my business has taken. Starting with an aesthetic design, developing that into something you can build and refining it. That process is my true passion. My tools and techniques have changed over the years. I started off with a pencil and paper, and you know now I work in CAD and in SolidWorks, and I'm using CNC machinery to cut things out instead of jigsaws. Um, but the core is still there. It relies very heavily on my mechanical engineering degree. Um, just having such an intuitive understanding of how things should be constructed and how they should be constructed so they're easily assembled is pivotal. Like without that, this, none of what I do exists. Engineering is a really phenomenal field. It teaches you how to think, but it'll impact the entire way you see the world. And you won't notice it because it's gonna be so gradual as you get your education. Just remember how versatile your degree can be. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a really solid foundation to do a lot of different things.